Valentine's Day took on a special meaning at Mill Plain Elementary this time around. It came with a message, an act of solidarity against a problem found in school districts all around the nation, bullying. So 700 students filed into an assembly for an anti-bullying rally, all wearing t-shirts that make a point to take a stand. The best way to conquer bullying, things that make people not feel good, is to do things that make us feel good. Mill Plain principal Karen Fox says that theme goes beyond telling children not to bully each other. If you just look at the design and even the text on there has the slogan, take a stand, um, but it doesn't say anything about bullying. And at the heart of what we want to do, um, that's really what it comes down to. We don't want them to be thinking about bullying or not bullying or anti-bullying or how do we fix it. We want them to think about how do we build what we want. And when you see the children's faces in this illustration, that's what we want. And we want them to know they can do it. The t-shirt was designed by a third grader, this third grader, Emily Paxman, who was surprised and proud when she found out it would be the symbol to help fight against bullying. When I walked into my classroom, I was like, hey, isn't this my design? I see everyone wearing the shirt that I designed, and I'm like, wow, I won. It was so awesome. Her design was chosen out of many from Mill Plain students using the Take a Stand theme. Emily understands the meaning behind that message to everyone. I'd like them, them to think that Mill Plain is a good school and that um, the students who are here, who go here, are good students. The t-shirts are just the latest effort by the school to fight bullying. It started with an anti-bullying campaign last spring. And so we had this t-shirt contest um, open up to you know, any of our students. Uh, to you know, just think about what it meant to them if they were to if they were to illustrate what it means to create the school that we want to create. What would that look like? So this is her vision of what it looks like to build the school that we want to have. And and really, you know, it's we own it at Mill Plain, but this is what we would want for any school. Fox says bullying is a complex problem that takes many forms. Trying to guide children through it is challenging because kids are really really good at recognizing um, physical bullying. Um, or sometimes name calling, but um, they're not necessarily adept at, at detecting some of the other forms of bullying. So social exclusion being one of the big ones. Um, and so we wanted to teach kids about you know, how to recognize it and most importantly what they can do about it. Um, because you know it's one thing to recognize what it is, but if we really want to stop it, then we have to empower students um, and give them some strategies they can use and also really build the belief in them that they can make a difference. And when we all work together, we all create the school that we want. Being Valentine's Day, the school used another symbol to make the point against bullying, the outside playground filled with students creating that symbol of love, the heart. For them to um, sit again when they needed to, for them to wait so patiently as 700 people tried to form a heart, says a lot about who they are and, and what they've already built here. Standing among her students, Fox says she could sense the message getting through about helping each other at the school, not harming through bullying. If I could you know, get into their heads, I think what they would be thinking is this is a day to be really proud of Mill Plain. And they come to their school being you know, really proud of their school every day. And they come in with smiles and they come in doing their best and they know that this is a safe, a safe school and a fun school and they're wrapped in love every day. But um, to have picked February 14th as the day that we want to say, you know what, this is yet another way that we can love each other and take care of each other. And for them to be a part of that, I think just, you know, bolsters their pride in being mountaineers and mountaineer lions now. <laughs> On this day, every student went home with a t-shirt with an important message including 150 Crestline Elementary students now attending class here. Fox says there will be more assemblies like this one between now and the end of the school year. That way, bullying, a problem always just under the surface, never gets a chance to take hold here. Bullying in some form has always been present in schools or in any large social group, probably also in small social groups, and, and it's, it's not a fact of life that we like but it's there, and so if we don't attend to it, then, then we can't do anything about it.